Police used water cannon to disperse crowds in Belfast and the trouble broke out uh, as loyalists angry about the decision to stop flying the flag at Belfast City Hall every day uh, was taken. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Davis's report contains some flashing images. It is mid-afternoon, just outside Belfast City Centre, and the armoured police Land Rovers edge forward. Confronting them a crowd of more than 100, many draped in the Union flag. Several protesters line up, charge forward and hurl whatever missiles they can get hold of, and the police respond with water cannon. Their tactics questioned at close quarters. You're closing it! You're closing it! You're inflaming it! The police service of Northern Ireland said this afternoon they were investigating reports that a number of shots had been fired at police lines along this road. They'd arrested a 38-year-old man, they said, on suspicion of attempted murder. It began as yet another organised protest in the centre of Belfast. At issue, the decision by the city council last month to limit the number of days the Union flag can be flown over the city hall. In a country where flags are often used to mark territory, to express political power, it was always going to be controversial. I am anywhere. The main demonstration had been peaceful. The violence started as some protesters made their way home, reportedly past a nationalist area of the city. This is the fifth consecutive week of protest now, and scores of police officers have been injured. Nine officers were injured last night, according to the police, again in East Belfast. 30 petrol bombs, they said, had been thrown at officers, as well as fireworks, ball bearings, masonry. Up to 300 people involved, said the police. They arrested 18. Northern Ireland's First Minister, Peter Robinson, described the violence as a disgrace. He said those behind it were playing into the hands of dissident Republicans. And Andy Davis is with me now for the latest. What's going on? Well, we understand that the police are uh, maintaining a significant presence in that part of East Belfast, but the crowds have dispersed. They've withdrawn the water cannon, uh, and they've said tonight that they're going to charge uh, seven men and two women with public order offences, and that'll be in a special sitting of the magistrate's court this evening in Belfast. Um, we understand that, you know, it was a largely peaceful demonstration. They've been holding these demonstrations every uh, Saturday afternoon in response to this decision by the council to limit the number of days the flag is flown above uh, the city hall. But it was as a section of the protesters were moving eastwards through the city past a notorious flashpoint with a Catholic nationalist area, the Short Strand area, that some violence erupted and that then intensified as the police pushed them further down the road. But this is the third consecutive day of protests. There have been sporadic pro uh, protests over the last five weeks. There have been death threats against some of the councillors, apparently, who were involved in that initial decision. So there's a real onus now on unionist politicians to get together to address this issue and make sure that it doesn't, uh, main doesn't generate a, a political momentum and become some sort of rallying point for loyalists disenfranchised, feeling disenfranchised by the direction that Northern Ireland is going in politically. Andy Davis, thanks.